Hi, Matt Branson here from Low Cost Hustle. The goal is to give you an access to a great education at a low cost. You love hard work and you rely on yourself to succeed. This is for those who hustle towards life's challenges. Lecture 2, Business Bank Account. Goals of this lecture. You'll learn why you should have a business bank account. You'll learn why I choose Bank of America. What do you need to bring with you to open up your very own business bank account? Should you get a business credit card? These are the things you'll learn in this lecture. Why you need a business bank account. Once you have an LLC, your money should be separated into a business bank account away from your personal bank account. You're letting the IRS know that your business is a separate entity and that you're serious about making a profit. You need to maintain that you are separate from your business. That is the point of getting an LLC. If you're being sued and don't have a separate bank account for your business, then you're not showing that you're a separate entity from your business. You should consider getting a business bank account. Why Bank of America? The first time I opened a business checking account, it was with a local credit union. I had a personal checking and savings account with them previously, and they weren't that bad. Little did I know, they weren't good for my business either. It was March 6, 2012, and the biggest product of the year was being released. Wholesales were going to charge my bank account in the afternoon. All the money was in my account, over $7,000 of it. It was ready to be charged by wholesalers, and they would ship out my customers' orders in the afternoon after they charged my debit card. The call started coming in from the bank, and they told me that the two wholesalers tried charging my account for around $7,000 and it was labeled a suspicious activity. I told them that everything was fine and to expect charges from sports images and magazine exchange on a regular basis. The bank told me that there was a $3,000 spending limit per day. Even if I had $100,000 in my account, I could only charge $3,000 to my debit card per day. I wasn't aware of this before opening the account and this obviously wasn't going to work for the future. TD Bank was a good option. They would allow me $10,000 per day spending, but I would need to maintain $2,000 in my bank account at all times. That part wasn't going to work out because I was poor at the time and didn't even have $2,000 to my name. I settled with Bank of America. I could charge $10,000 per day, and I didn't have to maintain a minimum balance. Bank of America will charge you $16 per month fee for having a business bank account. They give you some options that you can get your $16 charge per month refunded to you. You can spend $250 with your debit card per month. You can get a business credit card and spend $250 per month and you'll avoid the fees. They will refund you the $16. Bank of America is very good customer service, very nice people, easy access to ATMs everywhere in the U.S. You can deposit cash and checks at any ATM. It's very convenient. What you need to open a business bank account. Go down to Bank of America and bring your articles of organization, your tax ID number, your driver's license, your birth certificate, your social security number. You can't be too careful. Bring all the proper documents and you'll be able to open up your bank account the first time you go in. Should you get a business credit card? If you have a business card, you'll be able to pay off all of the business expenses that we'll get to later in the course. You'll be able to pay off your merchant account fees, your cell phone fees, your payment gateway fees, your eBay fees, your website hosting fees, and other business expenses. But only business expenses, not personal expenses. When you make those purchases with your business credit card, you'll be able to save on the $16 monthly maintenance fee that Bank of America will charge you. When most people get an extra credit card, they think it's extra income that they will be able to spend more and pay it back within the month. This is very dangerous and how most people get into debt. To avoid debt, you want to minimize your credit cards and you will minimize your spending. On average, people with credit cards spend 13% more than people who pay with cash. Only use your business credit card on things you really need for your business. Don't get greedy. Don't keep up with the Joneses. Stay frugal.
In the next lecture, you'll learn why you should stop using PayPal and get a merchant account with Bank of America and a payment gateway with Authorize.net. Thank you for listening. This was Matt Bernstein here from Low Cost Hustle, giving people who love hard work and rely on themselves easy access to a great education at a low cost.